Hey guys, Mr. Servi here, and today I'll be doing a review of the 1 to 144 scale slash 1 to 100 scale um, Giant Gatling gun. So this is the base model of the Giant Gatling gun. Hopefully you guys saw my time lapse footage of, it, of me building it. I'll post it in the description if you guys haven't seen it. But this is actually the main body of the entire thing. Actually, minus this part. So this is the main body. And so for articulation on this part, um, the barrel, like all these, I think there's like six chambers. Yeah, there's six chambers. These are all separate pieces. And it rotates and you can unpack it, I guess. And like peg it in here if you want. Maybe something like this. Um, so this can either be held by a 1 to 144 scale or a 1 to 100. Personally, I think it looks a lot more badass when you're, when it's held by a 1 to 144 scale because it actually is about the size of a 1 to 144 scale. Like, for example, I have a Goof Custom here. And it's about the size of the Goof. A little bit taller. But... I think it, it, if a 1 to 144 scale holds it, 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 it just it looks a lot more badass. So, being like a custom set, there are a bunch of parts that you can attach to it, as you can see here. So, um, the f let's do the first iteration that the manual tells us. So, you can change out the um, the muzzle of the mini the Gatling gun. And it just pegs in, but there's like there's a slot right here and a little peg right there that you need to line up for them to peg together. So there you go. And the next one is you need this little piece here that has a handle that also rotates. Oh, and this rotates as well since it's on a peg. Um, you take this. This is like a drum of ammo. I'm I'm probably gonna paint this red right here to make it look a little bit more ammo e like and it pegs to the bottom with this peg these holes so there's like a total of like four peg holes going all the way around it so you can peg it either way so you peg it in there and you take like any handle it comes with like three different handles yeah three handles and you can either choose one, any ones that fits the hand of the kit you're using, and peg it in there, like so. And the next piece you need is the camera. This has two sides, so you can either put it on. The camera will still be facing on either side you put it on, but I'm gonna put it on. Oops. I'm gonna put it on this side. Hopefully you guys saw that. Uh, then the next piece you need is this little belt piece, which probably just is like sending the bullets into the chambers. So, there you go. Let me grab a model and I'll show this off. I have here the Gundam, the Wing Gundam Hanu. And you can just, for this one, this little peg, you can actually slide into the hand if you try hard enough. Which it won't let me since the wing gun hands are a little bit too small. So you just peg, put that. Actually, I wonder if it will fit in around this one. Nope, it's too big. Okay, so you put the hand. Oops. Place the hand cover. Then I'm just gonna set him right here like that. Take this hand off. Screw it. I'm gonna then do it with this one. And then you can rotate that handle so that the kit can hold it. And it keeps coming off. So 
so you can like position the gun like the wing gun is holding it or like raise it a little bit the hand won't like it, it keeps popping out but he can hold it up for you to make it look like he's shooting my god so it looks a lot it's actually pretty cool Okay, so for the next iteration, I'm going to need to take your hands off. I'm just going to leave it like that because I'm going to need to change it later. Okay, so for the next iteration, you need to take everything and you just put on, off, and now you grab, change this one out, and of course you can just customize it in any way you want, but I'm just doing what the manual says, so you would grab this, and peg that in there, and then you can either take one of these little circular uh, covers or you can take one of these these are rectangular covers you get three of them one of them's already on the kit right there <clears throat> and you can just switch them out and the manual says to grab this little thing and put it here like so and I'm going to take a little circular thing right here or you can actually, uh, where is it? You can take this camera thing right here and peg it there. And you can take, you think, I think you can put it up here or down here. Um, you can either, you can peg the handles into either the top or the bottom of this. So I'm gonna put it here in the bottom. And you get this little tripod thing. It's a little flimsy, but you can put it on there. And you know, it's, it's like the, there you have a little gun turret. Pretty nice. Yep. So um, I'm actually I'm thinking about doing a custom with this gun set. Um, so my, what my idea was is that I would uh, not take that, not that, take not take that one, take this. Basically, do the first uh, version I showed off. Uh, but I don't want that. I want this. No, I don't want any of these, I think. Do I? Take this. No, I don't want this one. I want this one. Peg it in here. Uh, take, put this handle there. It flipped out like that. And then take this little, this flat handle pick in from the bottom and take my goof ignited I'm actually gonna get another one and put this into his hand like so And take his shield right here and peg it into this. So I actually had to do a little bit of shaving. Actually, a lot of shaving to get this to fit. I like shaved down the entire handle that was right here. You can barely see it. It's not even there anymore. And I this used to be a full circle right here. And I shaved that down to make it look, look a little bit more like a rectangle. And then I can peg this right here. And there is the goof with... The giant Gatling gun. It's. I think it. I think this actually fits the goof pretty well since like the goof basically has a Gatling gun sort of thing on his uh, arm. That's basically his weapon, and he stands pretty well with it. So I'm thinking about getting another one of these, maybe the Isaac Jewel, and painting that up because white's a little bit easier to paint with darker colors. Just need a little, a little bit more layers. But I don't know exactly what color I'm painting it yet, but 
I am definitely going to make a, like a heavy goof uh, variation. So, yeah. So that's basically it for the uh, giant Gatling gun. Oh, and you also get um, one of these like uh, joint things. You get like two of these things right here, and then this can bend 90 degrees. So there's a little bit more customization if you want to mount it on a backpack or something. Alright, so that's basically it for this review, and I'll see you guys in my next one.